Hi everyone, this is Josh with Josh Wright Piano TV. Today I'm coming to you from a practice room at the University of Michigan, so if you heard background noise, that's why. I'm going to teach you today just a little thing that we'll call a reset button for your technique, okay? And this is nothing special, I've presented this in other videos, but I want to go over today kind of uh, a way that you can apply this to be most effective. Okay, so basically, what I mean by the reset button is sometimes I'm just going to play a little passage from the Chopin third ballade, okay? So... Whoops. sloppy so then sit and warm up on this uh, before this video what I want to go over today is sometimes with those light pearly passages your technique can start to seem a little flimsy um, or feel a little unsure um, same thing in like the I play this E minor etude all the time Sometimes I get a little surfacey in there, and I'm, I want to show you today just how high finger practice can really help you to reset that. The reason high finger practice is so good, and I'm not saying lots of tension high fingers, but just forte, loud practice. that really grounds you back down into the keys. What this is going to do, it's going to create a more solid footing for your fingers. So, and now when you go back to a little lighter texture, let's go halfway between there and super light. By the way, I'm just easing up on the pressure that I'm pushing into the keys. I'm using lots of pressure. Then I'm using a little less pressure, but a little faster tempo. Let's see. Okay, now even less pressure. nice and shaped. Okay, now even less pressure. See how much more confident that seems than the first time I played it? Okay, and that little trick right there is a great way to prepare for competitions as well. I remember for the Chopin competition, I practiced all forte the day before my round, and then I practice it really slowly, by the way, I don't practice all forte fast, and then I go through it um, with lots of expression slowly, and then I'll perform it. I remember, similarly, there was a young boy, I think he won the Gino Bach Hour, but he was hosted um, by the, uh, for the Gino Bach Hour competition by one of my previous students who was retired at the time, and she had a really nice piano, and so she said, yeah, I'll host someone, and she said, oh my goodness, you'd be so surprised at how much forte practice he did. He just sat there for hours and practiced all forte very slowly. And I think there is something that's very therapeutic about that. We spend so much time, well, if you don't, you should, uh, listening and going over every little tiny nuance in your music that sometimes it can start to, you can start to disengage and your fingers feel a little bit too light, a little bit too airy. And if you go through and you work forte on all of those places slowly and really feeling the connection between each note that really helps i remember doing this um, amazing academy with this brilliant concert pianist and he said he was teaching chrysleriana now i've never played this i i think i sat down and read through it once let me see if i can remember <laughs> that goes. Um, I should have been more prepared. But what he said is he said for that he said 
how many of you spend so much time playing video games or texting or working on fa or um, posting on Facebook when really at home you should feel the connection from finger to finger and, and you just go back and forth. <laughs> so much confidence if you do that. Um, similarly, this teacher, one of his students is Daniel Trifonov, one of my um, all-time favorite pianists. And this, this academy must have been like five or six years ago that I did with him, but I still remember he said, uh, Daniel uh, came and he made up this exercise that he showed me in a lesson. He was playing. Um, Uh, beautiful Chopin etude and I think he plays it as good as anybody I, I mean it's just so beautiful the way um, he plays that and he said he trills between each note and then obviously I don't know if he does that one and then this you you really uh, get to know the piece if you do that so hopefully that gives you something else to think about in addition to just practicing forte. Feeling the connections between each finger is invaluable. Uh, similarly, Kevin Kenner, I, he was one of the judges at the National Chopin competition that I recently did. And he said, I said, how, I have a question because I'm always wondering this, how different concert pianists prepare for their performances. I said, how do you prepare? And he said, I do a lot of eyes closed, slow practice, feeling the connections so getting that cross under so confident you know and that then when you go to play it so easy it feels so light if a blind pianist can win the van Cliburn international piano competition it doesn't uh, it goes to show that human beings are capable of things much greater than we really think we are and I mean not to say that we're all as amazing as that boy obviously he is uh, one of a kind but my goodness and he played all the Chopin etudes opus 10 I believe in one of his first rounds and they were just amazing they were so good I remember being floored like they had to help him to the piano but then he's playing he's wiping the floor with everybody with these Chopin etudes it's very humbling for the rest of us so um, it's it's quite amazing feel those connections uh, forte practice and I think it will build your confidence and it's a great reset button anytime you start to feel like your technique is getting flimsy. I hope this tech, uh, this video has been helpful. If you don't mind sharing, liking, or uh, leaving a comment below so this video can be shared with as many people as possible, that would be wonderful. I'm trying to be more consistent with posting these videos each week. Um, so I really appreciate your support of Josh Wright Piano TV. Have a wonderful day.